Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to house number six part two So today we are going to continue the modern house that we started what yesterday So what we're going to do is start off where we left off which is on more of the back side of the house uh, Finally, so what we're going to do is we started off right here where we made this big five wide wall right here So what we're going to do is come back one block with our snow and stack it all the way up just like that All right so now using our black stained glass, I finally got it right this time. I'm feeling better with my words today so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this all the way up and we're going to go two blocks short. So I'd probably stop one block below where this window is. So like right here, I think would be good. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this come out two blocks from the wall. Now we're going to turn it towards the front of the house. So it's kind of going back towards the middle. And we're going to add two more layers. So it should be a two by three corner, pretty much more of a uh, backwards L shape there, or, uh, nope, but seven would go the other way. Never mind, I'm an idiot. All right, so there we go. I think that looks pretty, pretty decent. So now what we're going to do, using our Acacia planks, we're going to stack these all the way up, and we're going to make them even with the same height as the other ones in the front here. So we're going to have this come out one block in front of the glass that we just made, and we're going to have this come over two, three, four blocks total, and stack this one up on the end all the way up as well. So just, just like that. So our window is going to look just like this. So basically we're going to have a four tall window. So what we can do is come back over to the house that we are working on. And we're going to use our white glass panes and stack up one, two, three, four on the right side of this wall. The other side we can stack all the way up. So two white on the corner here, just like that. So what we're going to do is have one, two, I believe it's two. Let me just go double check. Yep, I am right. I knew it. All right, so we have two blocks of acacia wood planks on top of the glass that we just added. Now we're going to do the exact same window again. So one, two, three, four, and the rest of this area you can fill in with your acacia wood planks. Very, very simple, hopefully, for you guys. I try to make that as easy as possible. So next, what we're going to do is turn back our acacia wood planks one more time. Oop, wrong spot. So turn these back and come all the way up. So basically, we should have a one, two, three, four, and then two on the ends coming back. So more of a U-shaped wall here. All right. So now using our snow again, we're going to come on that block that we just made, come back and come out one, two, three, four, five blocks. We're going to turn it towards the front of the house. So then we're going to turn it one, two. So it should be a three long corner if you're like looking at it from this side. So now using glass panes again, we're going to use our white. Or you're basically going to stack these up four blocks tall. Kind of like what we did with the other windows over there. Do do, just kind of stack these up. Take a little bit more time with the glass panes to make sure you don't misplace them. Glass panes are a little bit more of a pain in the butt with those kind of things. And stack this one up. Do do, and just come all the way over one last time. I believe it's four blocks. It should be. Actually, I was wrong. We only want to stack it up three. Actually, no, keep it four. Keep it four. I don't know what I'm thinking. So keep it four blocks. And what we're going to do is your white snow is going to come out one block in front of the glass panes that you added. So you can even add a layer of snow on top of the glass panes that you just made. So you should have a small little overhang just like this. And if you don't like how that looks, what you can even do is on top of the glass panes. So basically our floor to our house is going to be right here. All right, so that's where our floor of the house is gonna be. So the reason of, if we wanna make this one block shorter, which I'll just do it to demonstrate, is now if we put our snow on top of this, just like this, all right? Our floor is now one block above it, so then when we have our balcony, we don't have any snow interfering with any of that stuff. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. So one thing we do want to take out is we want to take out some dark oak wood planks. So these are going to start right here, all right, uh, on the one block right above the bottom window on this acacia wall. And we're going to have it come all the way out and turn, and we're going to have it come out, uh, probably say, uh, let me just double check over here. Yep, so I was right originally. We're going to have it come out from the snow that we just had it here. So, like, right here. One, two, and three blocks. And you're going to have it come back. One, two, three, four. And we're going to go five blocks. So this right here is going to be a balcony when we are done. So, coming back to the right side or the front side of this house. We're going to start on the left side here. Using our snow, we're going to continue this wall back. Just This right here is just going to be a solid wall that's going to be three long. And then using our acacia wood planks, we're going to make this one not come all the way up. We're only going to have a smaller size window here. So kind of like what we did over there. So our windows are going to be four tall. So with our glass panes, one, two, three, four. And your acacia woods will come up and across and connect the two sides together just like this. 
Now, on the top side of this, what you can do is have your snow come all the way over and around do, 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 and connect just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, excuse me, we're going to come over two blocks. We should have a two block gap in between. So if you did make the house exactly like how I made it, uh, we only should have one piece left that's not connected and that's on this right here and it should be a three block gap. All right, so we are going to add a window, kind of a window here. What we're going to do is go every other block, place a snow block coming all the way across. So just like this, coming all the way up to the very top. So then we're going to do using your plain snow, not snow blocks, just plain snow. We're going to stack up five blocks on each. One, two, three, four, five. Actually go six, seven. I think seven will be good. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need our seventh right there. That one looks one block smaller. Yeah, see, it looks more like that, which I'm okay with. It doesn't look bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one more to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. Now, what this does, it just adds a little bit more detail to the house. You can kind of see what it looks like over here. Now, obviously, these are a little bit bigger, and we are going to add those windows here in a second. But I just want to show you, like, what this kind of looks like. So going back to those windows, these windows will go right here. This kind of four blocks tall or three depends on, uh, I would go with three. I think three might look a little bit better. So three blocks tall, add your white glass panes there. And there we go. Now we have some more windows. So using our acacia wood planks, again, starting on this L shape window here, we're going to stack these all the way up, same height as everything else that our acacia wood is. And it's going to come out two blocks. So one and two, then we're going to turn it. Do, 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 three blocks tall. Now, if you want to add a window here, you can. Uh, if you look over here, I don't have one, but you can add one if you want. That's more just up to you. I don't really think it's necessary to have one here. This, I don't really think you need one. So what we're going to do is now work on the balcony portion. So using your snow, we're going to start right here and we're going to have it come one block back and we're just going to have it come all the way over and connect with our acacia wood right here. So now what we're going to do, using your dark oak wood planks, just kind of fill in all this extra area here that we don't really need to fill in. Do, 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 do. All right, so just like that, using your glass panes, white glass panes, or black, depends on which one you want to use on your personal preference. Our railing is going to look just like this. So that's what our railing will look like. Again, very, very modern is what this theme is. So our door to the balcony is going to go right here. So we can even just put our dark oak wood there just like that and we will have a window here that will be too wide i think that's just kind of necessary it'll make it look a little bit better so our window is going to go right here and i'm going to use glass panes again i think glass panes look really good on modern designs and stuff like that so i want to continue using them and this uh this one is actually going to come all the way to the floor so it should be five blocks tall total so two three four five just like this so just a little bit bigger of a window here all righty now using our snow, we're gonna come over and across and just have a small little overhang here. Our door will be here and we can even just add in another small glass pane window there. And voila, pretty much our house is done. We, we have a lot of the basics um, and stuff like that. So for the actual roof, the roof is actually gonna be very, very simple guys. It's one of the simplest things. So over here on this big window real quick, our overlapping snow will come over and connect the two sides together like this. If you want, you can even have it come out one more block in front. If you like them more of a overhang and don't like things being even with each other, that preference is really just up to you. Also, one thing I forgot to do on this side is we need to add a three tall window right here. So if you notice over here, we did that, but I didn't do it on this one. This one will actually just use a glass block behind it. So just like that. And voila, there you go. Uh, I just forgot to do that on the last part. So like I said, the rest of this roof is going to be very, very simple. Just kind of connect all your acacia wood together. Uh, it's kind of like best judgment, what you think looks best. So I'm just going to connect them like this. I think this will look best. So it's kind of connecting all of these, make this one come over and connect like that. So then all the extra space that you have, you're going to fill in with your plain snow. So just kind of filling in all these gaps to where our roof will be. Do do just like this. Uh, this one needs to come down one more. 
And there we go. So all this can be filled in with our Arcasia wood. If you want to add in a skylight, you can do that for this. So there we go. Now we're going to do is using our snow, just fill in all the extra area here. So just kind of fill all this in. So I know this isn't the best modern house I've ever made. I'm kind of getting back into modern a little bit. Um, like I said at the beginning of last part, I haven't really done a modern house in a very, very long time. I have more transitions toward traditional and uh, more stuff like that, like you guys have seen uh, from all the other houses. Well, I'm not sure if I like how this one goes all the way down. Might just add that there. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. Yep, yep, definitely looks a little bit better. So that's pretty much it for this modern house, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I tried to make it as simple as possible for a modern house coming back into it. Um, it's a very, very small house, but it, I think you you have quite a bit of space if you know how to manage your space wisely. I mean, so look how much space you're really having in here. I think it's plenty for a survival house or just for a city house if you have a, like a modern portion of that. So thank you guys for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you want any ideas for exterior ideas here's kind of like what i did for temporary and kind of like thumbnail purposes and stuff like that uh but yeah that's pretty much it so bye bye guys i will see you next week for another house and bye bye